All right, next and final slate, it is going to be Major League Baseball. We got a lot of games today. Uh, this segment is going to take a long time, so uh, let's go ahead and dive into it. First game, Baltimore taking on the Twins. 210 Eastern first pitch in Minnesota. Now, the Twins open the betting as the $2.80 favorite total at 9. And since those markets open this one up, ton of movement in this one. We saw a 40 cent fade of Minnesota and movement downward on the total down to 8.5. So, once again, the Twins open 280 down to minus 240. Total open 9 down to 8.5. 65% of the consensus is leaning toward Minnesota. 55% of the consensus is is shaded toward the over. Right now, Baltimore is plus 215 on the money line. Minnesota might uh, minus $1.15 on the run line. We have Dan Straley for Baltimore, Barrios for the Twins. Straley is 1-1 one one with an 8-3-3 ERA for Baltimore. Barrios, 3-1 with a 2-9-7 ERA for the Twins. Now, if you like Baltimore in this matchup here, I don't know what you're thinking, but uh, I think I'm on the same side as you because they're two and one straight up in their last three. They're uh, seventh in K's at the plate uh, at 8.2 in that contest there. Now, Minnesota on the other side is 25th in striking batters out at just 8.1 per contest. They're also 20th in home scoring. And when it comes to the total, Baltimore is 70% to the under in their last 10 when traveling. Give me the Orioles plus one and a half on the run line. In the under, eight and a half runs in that matchup there. Next game, Reds, Cards, 215 St. Louis. The Cards open the betting as the $1.45 favorite total at nine. Not a whole lot of movement on the total, but we did see a 20 cent fade of the Cards down to a buck and a quarter. So once again, St. Louis open 145 down to minus 125. Totals at nine. 51% are leaning Cincinnati, 61% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Reds are plus $1.15 on the money line. St. Louis plus $1.45 on the run line. Tyler Mayle for the Reds, Dakota Hudson for the Cards. Mayle's 0 2 with a 3 5 2 ERA for the Reds. Hudson's 1 1 with a 5 8 9 ERA for the Cards. Now, the Cardinals have been winners in five out of their last six. They're also third in Major League Baseball in scoring. Cincinnati on the other side really struggling when traveling. Four and eight away from home. Dead last in hits on average per contest. And when it comes to the total, Cincinnati is seven and one to the under in their last eight when traveling. Give me St. Louis minus 125 in the under nine runs in that game. Next matchup, Athletics, Blue Jays, 307 Toronto. Oakland opened the betting as the $1.10 favorite total, 9.5. Good two-way action on the money line. No movement as of yet there. We did see movement downward on the total, down to nine flat. Once again, Oakland open and remains minus 110. Total open nine and a half down to nine. 54% are leaning Toronto. 60% shaded toward the under. Anderson for the A's. Sanchez for the Blue Jays. Anderson's 3-1 and one with a 3.04 ERA for Oakland. Sanchez 2-1 and one with a 2.77 ERA for Toronto. Oakland is 3-1 and one in their last four, seventh in home scoring. Toronto scoring just 3.6 runs per contest at home. And when it comes to the scoring, Toronto's 9-4 and four to the under in the Dome. Give me Oakland minus 110 in the under nine runs. Next matchup, Indians, Astros, 407 Houston. The Astros open the betting as the $1.45 favorite total at nine. Since those markets open this one up, we're seeing a 15 cent fade of Houston and movement upward on the total up to nine and a half. Once again, the Astros open 145 down to minus 130. Total open nine up to nine and a half. 53% are leaning Houston, 61% under. Cleveland's plus 115 on the money line. Houston plus $1.50 on the run line. Shane Bieber for the Indians. Brad Peacock for the Astros. Bieber's 2 and one with a 3.47 ERA for Cleveland. Peacock's 2 and one with a 4.29 ERA for Houston. Houston is 8-3 uh, and three straight up at home. First in hits at home on average as well. Cleveland on the other side, second to last in hits on average. And they are striking out 9.8 times per contest. Now, total-wise, Cleveland 8-6 to the under on the road. Houston 15-11 and 11 to the under overall for the year. Give me Houston minus 130 and the under 9.5 in that matchup there. Next game, Pods, Nats, 405 Washington. The Nats open 175, total 8. Just a nickel fade of the Nats when it comes to the money line down to 170. 
Once again, Washington open 175 down to minus 170. Totals eight, 62% leaning toward Washington, 56% shaded toward the over. The Padres are plus 155 on the money line. Washington plus 120 on the run line. We have Lauer for the Padres. Strasburg for the Nats. Lauer's 2-3 with a 4.67 ERA for San Diego. Strasburg's 2-1 with a 4.11 ERA for Washington. If you like the Nats in this spot here, it's going to be a tough one for you. The Padres are on a four-game winning streak. They're also fourth in hits allowed. Washington's dropped five out of their last seven, and they're striking out 10.4 times per contest on average. Now, total-wise, Washington is 15-9 and nine to the over overall for the year. San Diego, 8-3 and three to the over on the road. Give me the Padres plus one and a half in the over eight runs. Next game, Yankees-Giants. 405 Eastern first pitch in San Francisco. The Yankees open a dollar fifteen total at eight. Ten cent fade of the Yanks and movement downward on the total down to seven even. Once again, the Yankees open one fifteen down to minus one oh five. Total open eight down to seven flat. Sixty three percent are leaning Yankees. Seventy six percent shaded toward the over. We have Hap for the Yanks. Holland for the Giants. Jay Happ is 0-2 with a 5.96 ERA for New York. Holland's 1-2 with a 4.33 ERA for the Giants. New York's third in road scoring, and they're striking out their opponents 9.8 times per contest. The Giants on the other side are last in home hits and second to last in uh, hits as well. I'm sorry, I messed that up. The San Francisco Giants are last in hits and second to last in home hits on average. There we go. Got that right. Total-wise, New York 6-1 in the over in their last seven. Give me the Yankees minus 105 in the over. Over. Over seven runs in that matchup there. Next game, Rays. Red Sox, 405 Boston. Boston open 140, total eight and a half. Just a nickel fade of the Red Sox on the money line down to 135. Once again, Boston open 140, down to minus 135. Totals eight and a half. Charlie Morton for the Rays. David Price for the Sox. Morton's 2-0 and with a 3-3-7 ERA. Price is 1-1 with a 3-7-5 ERA. If you like the Sox in this matchup here, they are taking on a Tampa Bay Rays team who's 2-1 in their last three. They're also first in runs allowed at just 3.2 per contest. Now, Boston on the other side is 19th in scoring, 26th in runs allowed. When it comes to the total, Boston is 16-10 and 10 to the over overall for the year. Tampa Bay 6-3 and three to the over away from home. Give me the Tampa Bay Rays plus 1.5 in the over. 8.5 runs in that matchup there. Next game, Marlins, Phils, 6.05 Philadelphia. The Phillies opened as the $2 favorites, total at 8. We're seeing a 30 cent fade of the Phils on the money line and movement upward on the total. 170 and eight and a half. Once again, Philadelphia open minus 200 down to minus 170. Total open eight up to eight and a half. 67% are leading Philadelphia, 57% shaded toward the under. Right now, Miami's plus 150 on the money line. Philly plus 115, laying the run and a half. Richards for the fish, Arietta for the Phils. Richards is 0 3 with a 372 ERA for Miami. Uh, Arietta's 3 and 2 with a 2.65 ERA for the Fightins. Philly's been winners in two out of their last three. They're also 9 and 5 straight up at home. They rank first in raw, uh, walks at home and eighth in home scoring. Total wise, Miami 5 and 0 to the under in their last five. Give me the Fightins minus 170 and the under 8.5 in that matchup there. Next game. Uh, what do we have? Brewers, Mets, 7 10, New York, Flushing, uh, Queens. Once again, Milwaukee taking on the Mets, 7-10 flushing Queens. The Mets open the betting as the $1.50 favorite, total 7.5, 15 cent fade of the Mets down to 135. Once again, the Mets open 150 down to minus 135, total 7.5. 55% are leaning Mets, 70% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Brewers are plus 120 on the money line. New York plus 145 on the run line. We have Woodruff for the Brewers, Syndergaard for the Mets. Woodruff is 2-1 with a 581 ERA. Syndergaard is 1-2 with a 590 ERA. Milwaukee is 4-1 in their last five, taking on the Mets if you're into historical trends. The Mets are second to last in runs allowed. And they're striking out 9.4 times per contest. Give me the Brewers plus one and a half and the over seven and a half in that game. Next matchup, Tigers, White Sox, 7-10, guaranteed rate field in Chicago. The White Sox open 135, total nine and a half. 
Nickel fade of the Sox and movement downward on the total, 130 and 9 flat. Once again, the White Sox open 135 down the minus 130. Total open 9.5 down the 9 flat. 55% are leaning White Sox, 68% shaded toward the over. Detroit's plus 115 on the money line. White Sox plus $1.40 on the run line. Carpenter for Detroit, Lopez for the White Sox. Carpenter's making his first start for Detroit this year. Lopez is just 1-3 and three with a 7-4-6 ERA for the White Sox. Give me Detroit plus 1.5 and, and the over. Nine runs. Whew. Next game, Angels, Royals. 7-15 Eastern first pitch at Kauffman Stadium. The Angels open the betting as the $1.15 favorite. Total of nine and a half. Just a little bit of movement downward on the total in this one down to nine flat. Once again, the Angels are minus 115. Total up at nine and a half down to nine flat. 64% are leaning Angels. 51% shaded toward the under. Right now, the Royals are plus a dollar on the money line. Angels plus 135 uh, laying the run and a half. We have Berea for the Angels. Lopez for the Royals. Berea's 2-1 with a 426 ERA. Lopez 0-2 with a 450 ERA. Give me the Angels minus 115 in the under nine runs. Next game, Rockies, Braves, 730 Atlanta. Uh, 730 or 720? I can't see what that's at. I think it's 720. But anyway, the Braves open a buck and a quarter, total eight and a half. Just a nickel fade on the money line down to 120. So once again, Atlanta open 125 down to minus 120. Totals eight and a half. 54% are leaning Colorado. 51% shaded toward the under. Right now, the Rockies are plus 105 on the money line. Atlanta plus 160 on the run line. Gray for the Rockies. Fulton Avich making his first start for the Braves. Gray's two and three with a 278 ERA for Colorado. I like the Rockies in this spot here. Give me Colorado plus 105 and the over eight and a half in that game there. Next matchup, Cubbies, D-backs, 8-10, Arizona. Chicago open 110, total nine. Uh, 10 cent move toward Chicago and movement upward on the total, 120 and 10 flat. Once again, Chicago open $1.10 up to minus 120. Total open nine up to 10 flat. 59% are leaning Arizona, 54% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Diamondbacks are plus 105 on the money line. Chicago plus 130, laying the run and a half. We have Hugh Darvish for the Cubs, Zach Godley for the D-backs. I like Arizona at home here, plus 105, and the over 10 runs in that matchup there. Next game, Rangers, Mariners, 9-10 Seattle. The Mariners open 140 total at eight and a half. Not a whole lot of movement on the total, but we did see a 30 cent fade of the Mariners down to 110. So once again, Seattle open 140 down to minus 110. Totals eight and a half. 60% are leaning Seattle. 72% shaded toward the over. We have Mike Miner for the Rangers. Leak for Seattle. I like the Mariners at home here. Give me Seattle minus 110 and the over eight and a half in that matchup there. Next and final game, Pittsburgh taking on the Dodgers. 9-10 Eastern first pitch in Los Angeles. The Dodgers open the betting as the $1.85 favorite. Total at seven. Just seeing a 15 cent move toward the Dodgers up to $2. Once again, LA open 185 up to minus 200. Totals at seven. 65% are leaning Dodgers. 53% shaded toward the over. Right now, Pittsburgh is plus 185 on the money line. Dodgers plus a dollar on the run line. We have Musgrove for the Pirates. Kershaw for the Dodgers. Very, very chalky play to end this one. Give me the Dodgers minus one and a half and the over. Seven runs in that game there. All right, folks, that is going to do it for me. Once again, I have to remind you to check me out at patreon.com slash Brock Page. Uh, we are 3-0 and in our last three board member plays, 5-2 and two in that same category in our last seven, and we are 100% in our last seven NBA plays. So check me out at patreon.com slash Brock Page. But most importantly, thank you for watching this free content, this free program right here on YouTube. I love YouTube. I love interacting with uh, all my commenters and viewers. You guys are just as, much, uh, just as much a part of my life as I am in yours. So thank you so much, guys. I try to get back to each and every comment. So if you want to say hello, drop me a line in the comment section below. Chances are I will get back to you. All right, guys, that is going to do it for me. Happy Saturday. Be safe. Have a great time. Uh, best of luck to you. And don't forget to check me out at patreon.com slash Brock Page.